Even though it's early in the day, it's already hot. It's late August, which means the electrical load is going to be high. So the work on this crucial 230,000 volt transmission line will have to be done while it's energized. On the ground, lead line technician John Booth keeps a watchful eye. It's a critical line, so we have to do the live line bare hand work in place of switching the line out. Which means in order to do this, you really need to know what you're doing. It's a wand we use to bond onto the conductor so you can reach out and make contact with the conductor before the bucket actually reaches it, which energizes the entire bucket. There's a tremendous amount of training and certification that goes into being ready for this. All the guys on the crew are journeyman linemen with a uh, minimum of 10 years. There's a lot of planning from environmental concerns about birds and tortoises to exactly where to position the 125 foot bucket trucks. And above all, every day safety is stressed over and over. You know, any mistakes are gonna be catastrophic mistakes. Here, engineers found a way to save OUC millions by modifying instead of replacing 32 structures spread out over 10 miles near Lakeland to be able to handle more load. So there's still plenty of life left in these wood structures, they just update them with some uh, newer insulators. The heat with a suit over their clothes, hard hat and gloves on the ground can be overwhelming. But as the bucket is raised, there's a little bit of a cooling breeze. Two teams work side by side. In here, Tim Best and Victor Mendoza. It's a lot harder to uh, control, so it might get a little jumpy. And over there, Chuck Taylor, Robert Shackelford, and a very reliable chainsaw. Communication is essential. This crew uses hand signals to direct a crane operator on the ground. The crane holds the heavy line in place while the modifications are done. And remember, they are done while the line is hot. So they have just bonded on, meaning the current is traveling through them and the platform that they're on. An insulator in the boom keeps most of the electricity from reaching the truck where it is grounded below. Live line bare hand, they call it where a person could go up and attach, attach themselves to the conductor and work safely. The other crew does not bond on at the same time, so they have to keep their distance at 230 kV, that's five feet, eight inches. So there's things you can do on a de-energized line that you can't do while the line is energized. They rely on their training and most importantly each other, and it's pretty incredible to see how this happens. It takes an entire 10 hour day to tackle one structure before they head home to see their families. Yeah, I've been married for 28 years and uh, but she knows that, you know, we, we, we take the extra steps to make sure we're safe every day so that we can come home.